What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My IC video. And guys, today, we are going to go over some snipe filters, some stuff like that, pretty much ways to make MT. Before we do get into the video, make sure to smash that like button. Obviously, follow my Twitter down below. If you guys want MT, I'm selling some, I'm buying some, whatever, let me know um yeah guys so today we are gonna go over uh the market we're gonna go over some snipe filters um this is the fifth video today so make sure to smash that like button drop this up because bro we post so much and honestly at this point yo you guys des i deserve it i deserve it bro i've been grinding so hard it would be really greatly appreciated if you do drop that like so yeah let's get into it so some stuff I actually been looking forward to sniping is this new Dino. This new Dino has been popping up every time I refresh. So, uh, with that being said, I'm actually gonna show you guys how fire it is. I already sniped out a couple. Even sniped one out for my gameplay. He's going for around 30 something gay. I don't know, like 40 k maybe. Um, he actually went up a lot. I got him for 20 k earlier. He's around probably, I would say, 30. Honestly, this card is so good. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, for 35k, I actually make a little bit of profit. So, yeah. Uh, this snipe filter right here, man. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really consistent. 110% um, agree. I mean, not agree. 110% recommend you guys try this. This snipe filter is going to be really good. So, I would just recommend refreshing whatever you want to do. Maximum bid. Uh, minimum buyout. Whatever you want to do. There's going to be a lot of cards popping up on this filter really good filter i hope you guys really do try this out because it made me a lot of mt so far maybe about 20k in two minutes so far i only stepped out two but in two minutes i got two and that's 20k profit right there i got one for 20 and i got one for 25 so i made about 17 to 18k in two minutes um next filter we got the new sharif i don't even know how to sell his name bro it's like sharif or something something crazy uh sharif um he's really good Sharif Abdurrahim. I don't know how to say his name, but this is a diamond card. So he's probably going to pop up every second. Diamond cards in the prime set are going to pop up every second. Not only that, this card is really good for budget ballers. So if you want, I would say your filter to around 8K. Try sniping him out. Always, bro, when the new content comes out, the key is these snipe filters, bro. Snipe filters are always key. So yeah, 8,000 MT. Here we go. Look, look at these. A ton of them for 7,300. I can't really make profit on that. So I'm going to drop my filter. But as you can see, man, a lot of goodness, a lot of good stuff popping up. Um, every second, new stuff's going to pop up. So if you want to set your filter lower, it's not a bad idea, bro. I'm sorry I'm squinting. My eyes are literally on fire. I don't know why. I'm just so tired. Um, Yeah. So this filter, obviously, money, really solid. Now, we're going to get into the next filter. Galaxy Oval Snipe Filter, bro. It's obviously money. But it's not because I try. I literally missed a tray so far, and I also missed a zinger for 100k. And honestly, I can't. I I go so quick. I'm taking. I'm lightning speed, bro. I guess my internet is a little slower than most of these bots. I'm telling you, bro. Some of these people that get the opal snipes. I'm telling you, bro. These MT websites are definitely creating bots to snipe these opals 110%. Because I am so fast with my sniping and i actually like it's gone like it's just gone i'm super quick in every single way and i guess someone's one step ahead of me but who knows how like there has to be some type of way to like not be one step ahead of me the oval filter is going to be hot today it's just are you lucky enough to get the snipes bowl bowl honestly in my opinion is probably going to drop because in my opinion obviously perzingis is going to be better than bowl bowl not only that if you have Perzingis and Mobile on your team, it's a wrap. Kareem went up a ton. Um, market's honestly not even really that crashed. Honestly, it's kind of... Opal's kind of went up. Like, a lot of the fan favorite cards, 110% went up. The Trey Young Pig Diamond's obviously going to drop in price. Like I said, bro, it all depends on what they drop. So, since they did drop a new Trey Young, obviously the Pink Diamond's going to drop. Um, 
the Perzingis and the Prime 2 series is probably going to drop. They also drop uh, the locker code for the Prime packs. Those cards could also drop. So there's actually a lot going on in the game. Larry Bird went up. Some cards are going to turn into, I think, the first um, sellable opal for 100k. It's going to be Caruso. But we shall see. We shall see. So like I said, man, um, Prime packs don't usually have market crashes. I honestly thought it was going to be something bigger and better. Honestly, this is just straight up the classic 2K, man. They're going to make you spend your money. I dropped about 150K on the packs. I got nothing. I didn't get one player from this, bro. Um, The pack luck this year is so bad. And I mean, they're just so garbage. Yeah, I pulled Big O last week. But these packs are so damn trash. Like, oh my. Like, dude, I don't want to have this. We probably got damn whatever the hell his name is. Oh, no, we got Jokic, because I'll never pull anybody from this set. Um, yeah, these packs are terrible. So, I think, this is what I'm going to say. We got some pink diamonds dropping, obviously. If you did have your opals and you sold yesterday, you're going to take a W regardless. Um, obviously, some cards are going to go up, some cards are going to go down. Honestly, if you want to sell your cards, um, I've seen a rotation in 2K, so usually they drop decent content one week and then fire content the next week this is their decent content week if you guys haven't realized last week was crazy because they had the fan favorites and all that good stuff so what i've been realizing is that every week they take it by week by week so next week's gonna be the market crash week this week is just gonna be the what's it called week this week's gonna be the slower more relaxed week where they could regroup everyone could regroup their mc and then they drop more fire that's pretty much what i've been realizing like, straight up, it pretty much just depends on what they drop. Like, their freaking content was not fire. The market kind of rose. So, Dirk, Jamal Crawford actually went up about 40,000 MT each. Um, usually, also, when there's a market crash coming, they drop a trailer of some sort. Or, it gets leaked out the day before. So, I realized something. Usually, also, when they do drop content, um, to create a market crash, either me or ybc or other big youtubers i'm not really big but usually if one of the youtubers drops something about market crashing usually the market crashes the day before creates a bigger market crash than when actually the the actual content comes out so that's always something you want to pay attention to so pretty much if i drop a video ybc does a video whatever about a market crash the day before what's gonna happen is the market's gonna crash that day so if you don't sell your cards when i tell you to sell your cards you're gonna take l's um, honestly, if you didn't sell your cards, you're fine. Honestly, the market is kind of going up. It's kind of rising. So market is rising, in my opinion. And 110% is rising. Obviously, some cards are going to go down because of the drops. Obviously, that Diamond Luka is going to drop. The Pink Diamond Trade is going to drop. All those cards, a lot of them are going to drop. But um, it's not really my fault. Also, some Spotlight Sims are going up like crazy. Um, Tyler Hero is still one of my favorite Pink Diamonds. I actually only sold him for 100k, which kind of got me pissed. But yeah, right now, what you should be doing, you could sell your cards, you could pick up your cards. It's totally up to you. My preference is going to be waiting till next week to pick up these cards. Because in my opinion, it's not worth to buy any of these cards right now. They're still super expensive. There really wasn't any good content drop. Obviously, Luca, KP, yeah, they're cool. They're also at 500k. So it's totally up to you. I'm going to work my ass off to snipe a Luca. It's probably not going to happen. But yeah, I'm not selling. I'm not gonna sell probably till Friday. Um, but yeah, the first Luca is gonna end at 587k. I'm gonna see him go down to 400, I think. 400ish k for the Luca. That's a pretty good, pretty good price. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Hopefully, we get some of these cards. And yeah, honestly, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. That's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.